Hi and welcome to this Bluebird Markets video update with me John Kibler, Head Currency Analyst. In this video I'm going to be taking a look at the Forex market wrap. I'm going to highlight some of the news that occurred this week as well as some of the key data points. So in the, t in the way of news there wasn't actually that much in terms of uh, high impact data and we actually talked about this in the week ahead analysis video and we talked about the fact that this can often lead to a little bit of risk on coming back into the markets now the end of last week was very much risk off and we saw the yen getting stronger and things like that so we wondered if that would continue flowing into this week and it wasn't to be low impact news week cause risk on in the market and we saw the yen weaken now in terms of data points the bank of england governor was speaking this week at the london school of economics and he actually said that the uk banks were resilient and that they would continue to use interest rate hikes as a tool to bring inflation down inflation in the uk around 10.4 percent in february so that was something significant in the market um in terms of other data though there wasn't that much going on we did see cpi in australia year on year come down to 6.8 percent we saw um the core PCE price index, which is what everyone was really focusing on going into this week, come down to 0.3%, which was below the estimates of 0.4% and below previous of 0.5%. So that would have backed up the Federal Reserve's opinion and decision to hike rates at a slower pace, essentially. Going on to some of the uh, the strength meter, obviously, this is the same as in the week ahead analysis video. What we highlighted in this was the fact that the yen was uh, the strongest currency but in a reversal zone so it could be moving to the downside and the canadian dollar was also the weakest currency in a reversal zone and we had the aussie starting to come from the reversal lows so really speaking we'd looked at cad yen aussie yen for potential reversal setups Going into the dollar index though, what we expected, we saw this bounce in last week and I expected price to come back down and retest this area because if it was going to be a strong area of support, we would see buyers coming back in down at the lows here. This is a nice weekly demand zone around about the 102 area. So I'll be watching dollar going into the next week. If it comes back down a little bit lower, maybe we could see a bit of buying coming back in, see price take out the 103 spot 30 highs or even so to head a little bit higher so it'd be interesting to see how that performs going into next week dollar yen we talked about a little bit more downside from the 130.75 to then look for the opportunity for a bit of reversal that didn't happen in the end price actually just continued to trade through the 130 spot 75 came into previous highs around about the 131 spot 50 and then used that 130 spot 75 as support to drive through the trend line resistance and into the 132 spot 75 highs price is trading above that at the moment so it could mean that price is going to continue higher here for the yen in the uh, for dollar yen in the near term going on to cad yen then so we actually expected a little bit more downside before the upward move um, however price held above the 95 last week and that's what i said was the risk for this market moving lower was the fact that we closed above the previous lows usually that's a good sign that the market is going to reverse and uh, it did this week and price has rallied above the previous weekly highs around about the 97 handle i think if this continues we're probably going to see price come up into the next previous area which is around about the 101 and uh, we'll see if price finds resistance at that point same with aussie yen really our only concern was the fact that we were coming very close into this zone and that we probably wouldn't see the extension beyond that point if we did see the extension beyond the point beyond that point we were looking at 83 spot 75 that wasn't to be the case in the end and price reversed as well closing above the 88 spot 50 at the moment so we'll see if that can then see price travel a little bit higher we might see price coming into the 90 spot 50 next week so that's all i've got for you this week hope you enjoyed all the video content if you did leave this video a thumbs up subscribe to the youtube channel to see some more forex trading content and i'll speak to you in the next